Hi, I'm Josh and welcome to my July TBR. This month, for my TBR, I'm doing things a little bit differently than I normally would. I usually try really hard to read a diverse range of books rather than gravitate towards what I would consider easy reads. But this month is a special month because July 28th, I have my comprehensive exam for my PhD. And if you don't know what it is, it's just basically the halfway point where they test me on whether or not my project is viable, whether or not I know what the fuck I'm talking about, and whether or not I have a clear plan for moving forward. And part of this means that I'm going to be spending a lot of time studying this month, among other things. It's just a very busy month for me. But I still plan on reading because it's something I love doing. And it doesn't make sense not to relax occasionally. But because of that, I've decided to do a lot of rereads. And most of those are going to be centering around finishing series that have either new releases or books I haven't finished, but they're still going to be in genres that I tend to love. That's really what's defined my TBR. Now, for this first part of July, I am doing an Independence Day reading vlog of reading nonfiction history books. One, because I enjoy reading nonfiction history, and two, just because it's, it's still far away, so I'm not as concerned. Given everything that's going on, I decided to turn my Independence Day vlog from being just one book, which was The Glorious Cause, the first book in the Oxford History series of the United States by Robert Mitterkoff, into a more than one day vlog, into multiple books, where I'm also going to be reading 1776, also about Independence Day, by David McAuliffe. And then, most important of all, I think, here is Stamp from the Beginning by Ibram X. Kendi, The Definitive History of Racist Ideas in America. There's so been a lot of talk about this lately, and I'm really excited to be doing my Independence Day vlog because I do think it is the appropriate thing to do here. And also, another reason why I'm glad I'm reading this is because I have a new goal of mine. On top of reading just diverse authors, black authors, people of color, is to read at least one book a month, specifically that is in the genre of, of anti-racism. It's something I read several books of this year, but I do think it's important that it is a monthly thing, considering this is such a difficult topic to understand as a white man. There was a lot I just inherently can't understand, at least not without a shit ton of self-education. So I, I think that is a good goal of mine to have, and I'm very excited to be reading this book. And I've actually, as a recording, already started it, and I will say that I am loving it. It is a tough read in the sense that it's a lot of difficult topics, but it is very well written. Now, on top of that, I'm going to be rereading and reading the newest release of The Lady Astronauts of Mars series by Mary Robinette Kowal, but I'm going to talk about that more in my Reading Rush TBR. Next, I'm going to be rereading all four of the Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells. And this is a series about a AI robot who basically breaks their governor module. Think of this as the thing that controls the limits of what they can do. Now that they've done that, they can do whatever they want. They can murder everyone if they want, hence the name the Murderbot Diaries. But what we find is that the Murderbot actually just wants to be left alone because one, it doesn't understand people, it's, so it's asocial. They also just want to listen to podcasts and watch serials and things like that. They just want to be lazy and consume information like any other conscious entity like ourselves. But on top of those four rereads, I'm also going to be reading the newest one in the series, which is a full-length novel, Network Effect. came out in May, and I'm so excited to finally be getting to it. That is going to be such an amazing read. I, can, I, I know, I have no doubt of that. Fittingly enough, I read The Murderbot Diaries for the first time last July, so it, it matches up. Next up, I'm going to be rereading the first two of the Binti series, Binti and Binti Home. And then I'm going to be reading for the first time Binti, The Night Masquerade. This was one that I had been reading, I think I read the first one in January and the second one in February, and then I stopped. Or it might have been February and then March. But I do want to finish this and read this. And then next, one of my most excited reads is a second reread of We're at Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. And the reason I'm rereading this is because one, I love it. And two, there is a new book in the series coming out called Over the Woodward Wall by A. Deborah Baker. That is essentially Sean McGuire writing a story that it's not a sequel or anything to this, it's a companion, because in this book there are segments from this fictionalized story over the Woodward Wall that she wrote for this book and now she wrote an entirely new novel that is the entire version of that book referenced in here and I'm really excited because I got an e-arc of this on NetGalley. I wasn't expecting it because my NetGalley score is terrible. I did get it and I'm definitely going to be reading that. I'm really excited. i really, really excited. Next up are two rereads and that's going to be Parable of the Sower by Octavia Butler. I read this a few years ago, maybe more, and I don't really remember anything about it. I remember the basic concept. I think it was at a time when I was trying to read science fiction, but I don't think my reading comprehension was really there, because this is one of those books that is really 
intricately woven in a way that isn't necessarily unaccessible, but just I think the reader needs to really appreciate the entirety of the story. I don't think I did that. I'm really excited to be rereading it because I think I'm in a better place now to better appreciate what I'm reading. Same is true for the fifth season, which I read two or three years ago as well. No, I think it was just two years ago. This one I remember literally nothing about, so did I really read it? I mean, I know I did, but clearly I wasn't doing something right. But I'm really excited to be reading this because I've now bought a shit ton of N.K. Jemisin, and I read the first of her Inheritance Cycle last month, and I absolutely adored that. And I'm hoping that this is an example of how I'm in a better place in what I'm reading to better appreciate it. I'm thinking that N.K. Jemisin and maybe Octavia Butler might become a monthly thing. She has so many books that I haven't read, and now I have a lot of them on my shelf, and I kind of just want to start getting through them like I was with A.S. King, which you might notice I'm not reading A.S. King this month, which if you have been following my channel, I have been reading one every month, and that's not happening this month. I've read five of hers now, and I think she has like nine, so I'm making good progress regardless. That's where I'm at with my reading. I hope you all have an amazing July. I know this video is very late. I am excited nonetheless. As always, have a great day.